Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC14 in New Orleans, and we're here at the Seagate booth with my old friend, Torben Kling Peterson. Torben, how are you? I'm very good. I'm yeah, very good. You're, you're doing good. I obviously have lost my voice, and it's only day one of the conference. But, you know, I wanted to ask you I heard some rumblings about a really big deal in Germany that you're working on, some pretty tough uh, business with storage and I.O. What can you share? Well, that's not really supposed to be that official yet, but yes, we are working on a 55 petabyte single namespace file system for the German climatology partner. Um, it's, it's, you know, honestly, at this point in time, it's the biggest file system ever built in a luster file system type. It is based on Lustre 2.5 with all the bells and whistles, um, distributed namespace service, etc. And more importantly, it's with a new partner of ours, which is Bull, which is uh, you know, a first for us, but it is a very interesting system. Now, the reason they chose us over anybody else in the marketplace is that this is a data center in downtown um, Hamburg. They have a total max capacity from a power point of view of 1.3 megawatts and they need a 3 petaflop system and a 55 petaflop, a petabyte storage system. Now in order to get that to work you need the most energy efficient system in the world and we pretty much it at this point in time. So energy efficiency because they had a power ceiling and they probably couldn't go one more watt more than that, huh? Exactly, so they, they really have that power ceiling because it's, as I said, it's in a residential area downtown uh, of Hamburg where they just can't get more power and we seem to be the only you know, vendor in the marketplace that can actually deliver that uh, efficiency so okay well besides that though there's got to be a lot of IO requirements and density right these things that you guys are always known for when you were Zyrotex right and and we we're still playing on that same concept here. So we have a 55 petabyte single namespace file system that will be in a total of about, I think the, the last math I did was about 23 racks, which is kind of in a class of its own, delivering more than half a terabyte per second throughput. So 560, 70 you know, gigabytes per second, which is not world leading by any choice, but for a system this size, that's fairly impressive still. So it will not be the fastest file system on Earth. It will be one of the largest ever developed, but more importantly, it will be the most energy efficient ever developed. Wow, wow. So, so, so when does it get deployed? Can you tell me? Um, let, let's put it like that. I will be, be spending a lot of time in Hamburg starting in January. <laughs>